Hi guys, and welcome to a beginner's guide to modding Skyrim part 5. This video is going to continue the recent theme, which is visuals, how to make Skyrim look a little better. Uh, but we're actually going to be focusing on something new. We're going to be looking at meshes. So what are meshes? Meshes are the models, the computer models we use to represent objects, any object, all objects, whether it be a table, whether it be a weapon or a person, they use meshes. Think of them as a wireframe model and on top of that model we wrap a texture to make the object look real. And like textures, the quality of your meshes definitely affects how good the game looks. And in general, the Skyrim meshes are fairly basic, they're fairly simple. If you look at a table and you look at the ends of the table, they look very square, they've been cut off, the edges are very sharp and somewhat unrealistic. It is unlikely that a carpenter would make edges that sharp, he would probably smooth them off, but even if he didn't, time almost certainly would. And this circular table, for example, isn't actually circular, it is a polygon, and when you look at it closely, it's fairly obvious. And so what we're going to do is install a great mod called Static Mesh Improvement Mod. This is actually quite a large mod and it's a complete overhaul of all the static models in the game. It fixes things like bridges. If you ever look at bridges closely, you'll see a lot of very sharp, straight edges that don't quite look real. And this will fix that. It improves things that were, well, not done well in the original game. For example, ropes around posts. The ropes leading up to the post look like ropes, but around the post it just looks like a flat image painted on. And this mod, well it changes that and as you can see it now looks like proper ropes. Chains got a major overhaul. I mean look at these chains. You may never have seen this before. You may never have looked closely. But once you do, you will never be able to stop looking. The chains are not chains, they're flat discs um, and they look terrible when you look close but with this mod they're nice, thick, strong looking metallic chains. It, it makes the image look just that little bit more real. It even changes things like the fruit and vegetables, these cabbages, instead of these horrible sharp edges they can, they can now look round like cabbages should. And the list goes on. There are many, many changes. There are some bug fixes so that textures fit a bit better, rocks look a little smoother, and so on. And, uh, well, one of the more noticeable features of this mod is it changes barrels a little. They don't just look better, they also behave differently. In, in the vanilla barrel, the vanilla game, the barrels well, when you activate them, you just basically can loot them instantly. There's no animation as there is with chests. But with this mod, you actually see the barrel open, which is a nice little touch. And in many ways, that is a good description of this mod. It adds a lot of little changes. You know, they say the devil is in the details. And this adds the details. And it adds a lot of them. And each change may be small in the grand scheme of things, but taken as a whole, it is a massive improvement over the vanilla game. Like many of the mods that I have shown you and I'm going to show you, this is a mod that you may not have realised you needed until you saw it in action and then realise you can't quite live without it. This is definitely a must-have mod for me. So let's get started with the installation process and obviously the first thing we're going to need is the file itself from the static mesh improvement mod and hit download with manager. Now this is a fairly large mod so it may take a few minutes to complete. Whilst it is downloading, maybe you could go and read the front page, read all the details and pay a special attention to the installation instructions just in case the mods that you have installed differ to mine. However, there is a couple of things. For example, it suggests if you use water, install it after SMIM. If you, in, if you use texture mods, install after SMIM. Essentially, it would seem with many of these mods, he is suggesting that what you do is install SMIM first. 
Now this is technically not necessary. You could actually install SMIM and whenever it asks to overwrite something, if it's a mod you don't want to overwrite, hit no to mod. And that would work just as well. But in this particular case, I'm actually going to agree with the mod author and suggest you do it the way he suggests uh, for simplicity's sake. The, the downside to this is, believe it or not, a lot of the mods listed are mods that don't change very often, whereas SMIM gets updated quite often, which is, which is good, um, but it means when you uninstall SMIM, if you've installed it first, you need to un uninstall all the other mods. Even though that is a few extra steps, I am going to recommend that is exactly what you do. So, what I'm going to do is I have got, well, I don't have water, but I do have pure waters. And I do have Skydim HD. So those are mods that may have some issues. So I'm going to deactivate them. I'm going to deactivate them in the order I activated. So Skydim HD, I'm going to deactivate the 1.6 update and the 4.0 main packs. Now, I installed the light version. I find the light version fine for 1920 by 1080 resolution. Um, and I will be discussing texture sizes a little bit more in this video because it is applicable. And then pure waters, of which there are three. So I'm going to deactivate all of those first. Don't worry, I'm going to reactivate them. I'm going to put them back in. And then I'm going to go to the static mesh improvement mod and hit activate. That will take a few seconds as it prepares and you will see this pop up. Now, here's what I recommend doing. I recommend double clicking at the top here so it full screens this menu because it's actually quite an involved one. And I would drag this a little further out so that you get more room over here. You will see why in a minute. Click custom and then next uh, oh it's reset this never mind drag it out again now you can see why i want to drag it out and why i want it full screen because i get to see this window there are a lot of options with this mod first thing to do choose the barrel now you can either choose the normal barrel or the one with no animations remember the nice little opening barrel that's this one this one obviously doesn't. If you don't like his textures, you'll notice he's changed the textures of the battles. You can choose vanilla battles. Now, don't worry, it will not reapply the vanilla texture over the Skyrim HD one. It will use whichever texture you have replaced the vanilla one with. So if you like these textures and you're using a high resolution version of them or you're using Skyrim HD, you want to use this, if you like that. If you like Brumbeck's version, select here. I actually like the vanilla versions, but I do like the animation, and obviously I like the mesh, so I'm going to select that. You can only select one anyway, so select one. Bridges, uh, you see the horrible line here that comes with vanilla. Uh, this is much nicer, so this is something I definitely want. Clothing fixes, why not? There is um, a bones fix, so you can see there's slightly more details on the bones. Uh, he suggests the yellow bones version. There is also yellows and more bones. I'm just going to go for the one he recommends. Draug a corpse, why not? Dwemer clutter. Now, obviously, the this is only going to affect you when you're in an area filled with Dwemer clutter. I, I would suggest installing this, but if you enter a Dwemer Ruin and you do find your frame rate is unacceptably low, you might want to try reinstalling this and deselect that or don't select it. Um, so um, this, is, this is one of those areas where, generally speaking, I almost never look at these items, but I'm going to use the, uh, the good one because why not? The next one is important. This is the Farmhouse Ropes. Um, this is the one you saw in the video. It has these 3D ropes, which is a lot nicer. It is a lot nicer than the, the vanilla one. If those are a little too much for you, because as you can see here, it, up, it up 
uh, no, excuse me, it increases the polygon count upwards of 200,000 in Riverwood, because Riverwood has quite a lot of rope. So it does look incredible, but it can reduce your performance in Riverwood. Um, for me, I would actually find other ways to get the performance, and I would keep this. I think those 3D ropes look so much nicer. If, however, you can't do it, you could select the farmhouse texture UV fix only. It's well worth doing this anyway because it fixes uh, the, um, as you can see, the blurry posts here. It fixes that. I, I would also recommend thinking about using the distant fade version of the rope. So if you are going to use the 3D ropes, there is an option that fades when you are very far away. Now, I tested this out. I tested this out and I got quite far away from Riverwood and I could still see the ropes. So I am not totally sure how far away you need to be to actually get them to fade. But I do suspect it's so far away that the entire area, as you can see, looks fairly bad anyway. It's, it's distant terrain at this point. Um, so for me, I don't mind the distant terrain because if I was looking at this from that distance, I'd hate it anyway. And the ropes aren't going to help that much. And perhaps they would give me a few extra frames a second. Who knows? So I would pick either the 3D ropes, no fade or the distant fade. And again, I don't think you're going to notice that fade. It, it shows the ropes for quite some distance. Now the the fence, now this is one that's really nice. The, the fences obviously, as you can see in the vanilla one, they are very bad. They are just a flat texture almost. It looks like corrugated iron that's been painted to look like a wooden fence. With this mod, um, you get these lovely thick poles that look like wooden poles, so it's a lot more realistic. And you do have three choices. You can have the dense one, the dense grey one or the light one. I'm actually picking the light one. Um, it uses less polygons so it'll have better performance and honestly I think it looks fine. In fact I actually almost prefer the light one so that's the one I'm going to pick. You pick which one ever one you want. Improved food? Definitely. <laughs> I think they look a lot better. Improved furniture. That's a must-have. The tables and ch chairs and things must have improvements. Improved chest? I think the chest look nicer, so I'm having that. Now, for the textures, you do have some choice. You can choose the Smim default textures. He's redone these textures. Or you can select the Smooth Skyrim HD texture or Weathered dark. Now this is still a high definition texture. It's very similar to the Skyrim HD texture, but it's a lot more weathered. So that looks a bit closer to the vanilla texture. So I would generally either choose the Smim default or the weathered dark version. I quite like this version, although for some reason I think this one looks a little bit more in the style of the game, but I'm going to pick the weathered dark one. You choose which one you like. Hawk improvements. It actually improves the hawk so they have more polygons. Honestly, this is something that I could live without. As you can see, there is a difference. The, the faces look different. How often you see a hawk on the ground, I don't know. For me, Generally, hawks are things that are flying around up above, and I never look at them. I could actually quite happily live without them for the polygon count. If you want better hawks, choose it. Human skull fix. Definitely, you want this, so you get rid of these horrible seams. Because you actually see quite a lot of human skulls, strangely enough. Lanterns. Lantern fix. If you want the lanterns to look a little nicer. Miscellaneous. 3D rings, definitely want that one. Once, once I noticed, well, and I only did notice those horrible rings because of this mod, <laughs> but once I noticed them, I could not stop staring at them when I didn't use this mod. So, yes. Nordic tables and benches, another one. It does improve them quite a lot. Gets rid of some of these horrible seams here. As you can see, it's quite blurry, and the seams. Now, by the way, I didn't mention it before, but the reason sometimes you get this blurriness is not because the texture is bad it's because the texture has been applied badly to the model. So what he has done is he has fixed the way the textures are applied so they look 
better. And as you can see, it definitely looks better. So I'm taking that. Now, the pull lever 3D chains is an interesting one. There are three versions. There is this version, and as you can see, you've got a nice thick chain, which is, which is nice. It does look good. Um, but you'll also notice that the chains here, they have been redone. They look very nice. But they're a different size to this one. Um, you, you're, you're probably not going to notice that when you're playing. It really is, you know, it's these are the tiny details. You have to be fairly... You have to be really staring to notice that. There is even a light version, and what that is, if you notice the difference, the chain is the same, but the chains on the wheel are actually just painted on. You can see it's just a flat picture. Again, you would have to be staring at this. You really would have to be staring at this to spot it. And this, obviously, is the lightest one. It is a little bit more... It has more polygons than the, the vanilla version, but not as many as the 3D chain one. See, this one has 8,000 extra poly count, and every, every time that increases, your performance is going to go down slightly. Um, this one has 48,000. Now, there is also small rings chains, and this is even more polygons, 52,000. Not that many, actually, compared to the big one, but the chain is far more... Well, it's, it matches the size of the chains here. So for me, this is more realistic. If you are going to be staring at things like this, you probably want to pick that one. If you're not, you probably want to pick the 3D chains light. Because if you're not, if you're not going to be noticing things like this, just have the big, big one, 8,000 poly count. It looks better, but very little performance difference. This one, if you really do like the extra details. The rock fixes in Black Reach, uh, yeah, why not? It is a fix to make them look a little better, a little less blocky. And the, this one, definitely pick. It fixes the rocks so they have more polygons, which makes them look a little bit more realistic, so they don't look quite as crystalline. They look more like real weathered rocks. Signs 3D rings, do I even need to say anything about that one? And install 3D Skeleton Remains. Yep, that's improved. Install Stockade 3D Ropes. Oh, yes. Yes, please. Thank you very much. You want that one. Now, the next one is Tankards. He's, of all things, decided to make a better version of the Tankards. Now, if you don't care, if this is something that you really don't care, don't install it. Although, I don't really think it's going to make a huge difference to the performance. It depends how many of these things you're actually uh, going to see. It's probably going to make more of a difference in places like Jordvaskard or certain of the inns. I generally don't have performance problems there anyway. Um, there is a bright version and a dark version. I prefer the dark version. Um, and I'm also going to pick the ones with half size textures. They don't look quite as good, but as I mentioned in the last video, it's all about is it worth that drop in performance? Is it worth overloading the memory? And for me, not so much on these. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose that one. For the texture size, I recommend a full size. If you have performance issues, you can try the half size. But I checked out the size of the textures for this mod, and they're not overly large. They're more compatible to the official Bethesda high-res DLC. They seem to range from about 512 to 1K, maybe slightly bigger occasionally, but they're not super huge textures, so you shouldn't have too much of a problem with them. That is what I would recommend. Now, the tomato style. You can actually have the default tomato, which is, this is what it looks like in the default game, and it looks horrible up close, whereas the pure red looks really nice up close. However, in-game, I just found these pure red tomatoes to be too red they they just made they made the produce section look a little over colorful for my liking so i'm going to leave default heirloom but again that is completely up to you ultra size textures add on uh 4k tech do not 4000 by 4000 textures um if you have got a very very good system and you've got memory to spare you might consider this but honestly again i i'm generally against 
abusing the textures so very much unless you really are using an ultra high resolution uh, setup. So I'm going to skip that. Um, so I can't even tell you how it would affect performance because I'm not even going to try it. Drawbridge and Dragon Reach 3D rings. Definitely, the, the, the rings for the drawbridge don't look good in the vanilla game. Look, they look a lot better f with this mod installed, so yes. And install white run doors. This is, this is a little um, improvement to the rings, as you can see. They've got that harsh polygon look, whereas this, they look far more circular. So, selecting that as well. And that... That is how I would install it. Obviously, you can change certain things if you would rather have different settings, but there you go. That is what I recommend. And then hit finish. Once it has installed, do not forget to reinstall your textures. So I'm going to go along to my Skyrim HD 2K textures light and activate these one at a time. At a certain point, note this, I want to install it as it is. At a certain point, it is going to detect that I am overwriting some textures from the mod I have just installed. I don't know which one it will be, probably the miscellaneous and the towns. There we go. Oh no, this has been installed by a medium book of silence, so I'm going to know to mod. I don't want to overwrite the Amidian Born Book of Silence mod, so no to mod. Do not do no to all. No to mod. Now, here we go. Furniture DDS has been installed by Static Mesh Improvement Mod. Yes, I want to overwrite those textures. I'm going to use these textures instead. There you go. Now for the towns. This will probably also require replacing. There we go. Yes to mod. And finally, Riften. Okay, so that is Skyrim HD installed. And now, Pure Waters. And in actual fact, it would seem that Pure Waters does not interfere with either of those. So I probably could have left Pure Waters installed and installed these other two around it without any problems. Now, of course, this will have just changed my load order. So I'm going to rerun Boss. Let it do its thing. And then restart the Nexus Mod Manager and check the load order. Now, there are a few things that I want to manually move, but you at this point probably can leave it exactly as it's suggested. And that is it. You now have the static mesh improvement mod installed along with a texture overhaul. This is a mod that does get updated reasonably frequently um, as he you know, updates new objects. So you might want to check back every few weeks, see if there's some changes that you quite fancy and then update this mod. To do that, it's, it's not difficult, but it is, you pretty much have to go through the exact same process you just went through. You first of all, go along to your texture pack, deactivate all the texture packs, then deactivate static mesh improvement mod, download the new version, activate static mesh improvement mod, and then activate your texture packs. Um, and then you will have the latest version. So it, it takes a few minutes. It's not difficult, but you know, <laughs> you have to go through that process, I'm afraid. Okay, guys, that is it for this video. In the next episode, I'm going to continue and finish the theme of improving Skyrim visuals by showing you a few mods that improve the way light works in the game. Now, in fact, that is a subject that you could devote 50 videos to and still not exhaust, but we will just be covering the basics, the more popular light altering mods, the ones that don't really give you a big performance hit, but do give you a noticeable improvement to the way your game looks. You guys are, of course, welcome to join me for that video, and I look forward to seeing you there. And until then, as always, 
have fun.